Hi everyone, this is Han here from Sony Malaysia and welcome back again to my another video regarding to this latest firmware on the Sony ZV-1 which is a UVC and also a USC firmware update. Basically it stands for USB video class and also USB audio class. Okay, so allows you to use your ZV-1 connect via USB cable to the computer and you actually can transfer the video and the audio signal together for the first time without the need of the capture card as well as the software on the computer. And you might recall again from last time, you might see me on the Imaging Edge webcam video. Uh, you still need to download a software onto the computer itself and then connect to a compatible camera via USB cable. But there was a catch. You can only transfer the video signal from the camera to the computer and audio signal, it does not capture. So the sound from the computer, you still need to use, uh, at, let's say additional microphone or third party devices as an example. So the sound from camera does not capture into the uh, software by itself last time. So with this new firmware update in this ZV-1, Sony is going to change the game how you actually do live streaming with this ZV-1. Start from here. So because you're getting a nice quality audio and a video quality output from this ZV-1. How cool is that? Uh, as you know, currently we are in this pandemic situation and all of us actually stay at home and also maybe uh, you're, we all staff are working from home and then the kids actually have to go online education. So web conferencing and live streaming are like a big tools right now in this new norm, especially in this pandemic situation. So with the uh, live streaming previously, as we, as we all understand that live streaming usually refer to a live event or a, maybe a live uh, launching as well as those live uh, music as an example or seminar. Additionally is with this live uh, people actually using it as a fan engagement in this new norm. So uh, you can actually engage to your audience while let's say you want to do your cooking, you want to do your personal product sharing, also you want to use it for your day-to-day -day lifestyle sharing about anything about what you do everything in your life. Yeah, so people using live streaming as a fan engagement. So that's like a growing trend in this market right now. So with this everyone and also this new form update is going to lift up your game to this live streaming as well. So additionally is that there's also people using as for their e-commerce use. Let's say they're selling product online via live stream. So with these features from ZV1 and also the uniqueness, then you can showcase all your nice product as well as a nice audio quality from the ZV1 with this new firmware update. So next is with this camera, how do you uh, actually hook up to the computer very easily? First, you actually download the software from the Sony website and go to the support page and look for the camera model. Let's say this is the Sony ZV-1. You type in the search one and the, the page will come up and go into the ZV-1 and you'll see that the download is right at the bottom there. Click on it, then you can download the latest firmware on the Sony ZV-1. So very first thing is, let me switch over. You can see uh, right here, you see I'm doing actually like live demonstration right here. So you can see right here. Okay, so this is a view of my computer as an example. And this is a view of my camera. Ah, and actually there's a camera on top here. Let me go closer, go closer. All right, so the very first step you want to do is that, let me go, go, go higher a bit more so you can see what's happening. right there so it's actually connect to the cable already okay done so it's ready and connected to the device so i'm going to bring out my computer you can see right here so this is my computer view so first thing first i'm going to bring out my facebook ah so you can see how that's where people do live streaming because usually you will do it a live uh, facebook is a main main i mean most popular place to do live streaming and you go to the live video go inside there all right so straight away you will find there's an option for you to choose okay so have a look so it's actually setting up so currently my camera is set to FaceTime. This is the view from the webcam on the computer. So the sound is actually from the internal microphone. So you can see this is me right now. Hello. <laughs> and the quality is in trouble. I mean, uh, not it's okay, but not clear enough. All right. So what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to switch to ZV-1. You can see that's the ZV-1. So the camera imaging edge is for previously for the imaging edge webcam. So right now it's just go straight to ZV-1 because this one is a webcam already. Then also change the sound to ZV-1. 
done. Yeah, this is the view from the ZV-1 and much nicer, higher quality. Uh, I mean, in comparison, this is the view. Okay, so this is the, how you can set up in a web, uh, in a Facebook very easily. All right, next I'm gonna bring up is the, uh, let's say people use it for web conferencing or people use the, uh, for online education, you know, webinar as, a, as an example. So right now I'm gonna bring up the Skype. So Skype is another popular tool for people to do like, uh, like a web conferencing as an example. So if you just go into Skype, okay, host my meeting example, example, just for testing purposes. Okay, inside your setting, uh, maybe you don't see anything around, just go into start meeting. Okay, then on the lower right corner, audio and video setting, then you will find, okay, currently it's set to my FaceTime, which is my, uh, I mean, the com computer webcam. Let me switch to ZV1. Uh, then you can see much nicer video quality right there, straight out of camera. At the same time, the audio also make sure switch to ZV1. Yeah, it's easy, just set to that. Okay, done. My beloved action cam. Okay, so you can see beloved, it will show the very nice focus and background just uh, blurs away. Thanks to this one actually currently set to the product showcase setting. While actually connecting to the cable to the computer, you still can press on the setting here to have the background a bit more blur. Okay, so you can see, you just pay attention to the, what do you call this, that, uh, the door there, which is the, the fridge door, then the, the stuff on, the, on it, so you can see. This is, I think, blur mode and clear mode. I'm pressing, I'm pressing on the top right corner, which is a pu one push bokeh, having a bit more background blur, or you want to have more uh, more clear, it's up to you. Let's say I, I prefer the blur. Okay, so I'll focus on it. And then I try, I, I will do the same thing as well, I'm just holding it right now. And I press again, so I have more clear and more blur. See, you can see that, how it actually works, very easy. Press again, and press again. Okay, I'm gonna bring up my OBS right here. Uh, yeah, oops, I just switch off this one for now. Okay, currently you can see I already set up a few here. This is where I uh, did the test before. So okay, if I bring up this one, that's where the ZV, uh, I mean for the ZV one. And this one here is for the, from the computer as an example. All right, so I'm gonna uh, walk you through how you actually can set up very easily. So I'm just create a new, this is the one I already created, but I'm gonna walk you with a new one so you can see how it's easily set up for you. And by the way, this video output is only 1280 times 720, not full HD with this USB connection, but it's already more than enough for most of the live stream and also very nice quality. Okay, so they press on it, transform, and I go to full screen. That's it, this is the full screen. All right, so you just press on the ZV1. Then you have the sound. That's where the sound came. See, when I speak something and the sound actually comes in. Ah, that's the quality of the, <laughs> from the ZV1, okay? So you can see how easily it focuses, it grab the focus, and then back to me, if back to me, and then grab the focus again, very fast, and then I can show you the cow again. Oh, where's the cow? <laughs> okay, so you can get the idea how easy it is with this brush showcase okay, setting to show anything you want in front of the, uh, I mean the camera, because the camera will just grab the focus Instantaneous. Imagine myself. I'm a I'm a lens lover. In front of me, there's another lens. So this is a G Master right here, the one three five, and you can actually bring up and to showcase how nice the the glass in front of it. Ah, so you can get the idea how nice is it. All right. So this is the exact example with this one. Currently, the sound and the video is actually captured via the cable and go to the computer with this new format update. So anything connect to the camera, it will works. So basically, you broaden up a lot of opportunity for you to do live streaming, especially people who want to do fashion and they move around, they want to show their, show their clothes, but they, when they move around from a smartphone, they cannot say, uh, they need to like yell louder because they, because they need to go further back and the sound is not as clear. But with the sound actually attached to it and you can move around and you can still showcase your fashion very easily with this live, live streaming. All right, so this is the test number one here with the audio and the video quality comparison. So the first one actually from the computer webcam as well as the sound from the computer as well. So it's a built-in microphone just to show you here. So this is some, there's some text on here. You can see it's not as clear, a bit fuzzy and blurry, although I have a very good lighting right here, but it's still, yeah, due to the sensor size in the webcam, it's actually very small. That's why it don't give you the kind of clarity from the computer webcam. All right, so next I'm going to switch to the uh, ZV1 with the 
audio and the video comparison. Alright, so just stay tuned. So this is the second test here with the audio and visual quality from the Z1. As you can see, the comparison from previously, the webcam was a bit muddy and then not so clear. And this one, text sharp focus, you can see the words and clear and background just like blurs away. Ah, then thanks to the one in sensor in this Z1, you can see very nice visual uh, from this and also better sound quality from the Z1. Alright. So next I'm going to do the same test again but with a different sound options. Alright, just stay tuned. Alright, so for the third test, you can see that I'm actually using the ECM Dash W1M right now with this wireless microphone capability. Ah, so the receiver actually attached to the hot shoe on top already. So with wireless microphone, you can actually freely to move around, so making your live uh, sharing even more flexible. Imagine yourself actually doing uh, some, uh, uh, let's say, fashion review and looking at talking about this particular uh, cloth or material, and you need you need to move around to grab it and share about it. Yes, you can do that. So with this wireless microphone, let's say myself actually move out of the frame. I'm actually moving out of the frame now, and the sound is still going through to the microphone, and you still get nice and high quality audio straight to the ZV1. Ah, so actually I'm back here again. So you can imagine how flexible it is with this setup right here easily and you can do it for your live streaming making your viewer even more enjoyable and they can yeah because previously if you're using smartphone then if you move away from the sound the sound might not be as clear but right, right now this one you can have more flexibility with this new firmware update on the ZV1 all right so stay tuned for the uh, the rest of the video Alright, so it's actually back to the OBS again, you can see right in front of me. So I'm going to switch around to the view here. So this is a top-down view. Okay, so uh, how you actually disable, disable this, very easy, just by pressing this center button, you press on it, it will say cancel the USB streaming. Okay, just press. Okay, then you're back to normal. Alright, so back to me, and then you just go back to me. Alright, so uh, this is how easy for you to actually set up your, uh, your own ZV1 to connect to the uh, various various application on the computer just wire one usb cable and it actually send through the audio and the video signal so again i'm han myself from sony malaysia so thank you very much for listening to me and also uh, learn more about this particular new software so hopefully to see you uh, in the near future and again we are in this pandemic situation so we also stay strong and stay safe thank you very much